Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by... Ralph Howard. Um, I'm Head of Platforms at Unity. So yesterday at uh, VRDC or GDC, uh, you guys did a keynote uh, and talked about what Unity is doing for XR technologies. Can yeah. you talk about what you're doing, uh, the new announcement, and how you're looking to change sort of the landscape uh, with Unity? Well, so um, the, the big announcements are, and, and John had a couple of numbers that he was showing on stage. Um, it starts with the success of the developers that we have and the success that they're already having. So if you look at our um, coverage for XR and how many people are using to create Unity for XR, that's, that's two-thirds of all XR applications are being made with Unity. And there's a giant spectrum there, but what's really important right now at this stage of, of XR is for people to have reach. So yesterday we've announced support for Oculus Go, for Daydream with their sixth off, and for Magic Leap, which is a pretty big announcement, I think, for most people. Um, so Magic Leap opened up their developer portal for people to register and sign up, and we've opened up our part of that to be able to develop for it. What exactly does that mean? Uh, so say, you know, someone who's watching is not a developer. What does that exactly mean that Magic Leap and you guys are doing something together? Yeah, so Unity by far is the best tool to create XR experience, right? So if you look at what we take care of, um, getting your models in, building the interactivity, getting it on the device, that's exactly what we do. And the way we really want to do that specifically for people that want to create for these devices is make it really easy to get your content over to that. But all of these platforms, when we talk about the properties of the platforms, are quite distinct. So we're never lowest kind of common denominator in that. Uh, Magic Leap is quite a different type of hardware. And enabling that and enabling the Unity audience that has so much reach but also so much creativity in it to create experiences that are wildly different, by enabling the hardware from Unity, we're hoping to see all these beautiful new innovations on the platform. Um, through the creation of new content. That's really what we support and do. So uh, XR is something that you're concentrating on mm. uh, rather than sort of putting into the box of virtual reality and augmented reality. Yeah. You guys are talking about um, sort of working together with Google and sort of geolocations with augmented reality, but the lines are getting a little bit blurred right now, right? Absolutely. And you doing different types of platforms. How do you see that in the future with Unity? Well, the, blind, well the, the, the lines are not getting less blurry anywhere soon. If, if we look at what's going on, and if you look at, for example, the Sixtoff uh, Daydream headsets or the Oculus Go, the, these are two headsets that are all-in-one headsets with what equates to be a mobile device. Um, if you look at Feathered VR and you see this move towards mobile, of course, we have world-class mobile support today. So bringing that over to these all-in-one headsets from a technical standpoint is easier, but now it's for the creators to actually utilize the power of that platform. I think those lines are going to get more and more blurry. If you see uh, last year's um, announcements from Apple around AR Kit, where we were there together with them on stage when that got announced, um, AR Core, where we were there together with Google, and the magic window mode of AR, and how that now blurs into you know being able to move your phone around this space. But if you look at HoloLens or Magic Leap and actually having the glasses there, you know those are different models, but they are very close in terms of the platform and the hardware. But then the properties and how you engage with the content are very different. We're heading towards this fog of war of mm. what's going to happen with phones, with all-in-one headsets, with mixed reality, AR, or if you would call it reality computing. There's all these names floating around. So. Our terminology sticks with XR until we figure all that out. Most people think about Unity, it is related to gaming. Do you see sort of a shift towards, um, I guess, products that are being built, I guess like enterprises, things that are really not necessarily gaming? Yeah, so this is actually happening or ha has happened to us. So, so to explain what that means, you look at some of the use cases that people come to us with and say, hey, we're doing this with Unity then it's in automotive, it's in film, and in XR, what, what happened because it was one of the primary tools from day one to support, you know, either the Oculus or the HoloLens or any piece of hardware in that space, what, what happened is, is that that became the de facto people for, tool for people to create. So it's also really expanded the requirements of what we build for our developers in Unity to allow them to build these deeper experiences. If, um, if you saw our keynote yesterday, um, you saw our new timeline tool and how that worked together with storyboarding and how that worked together with color grading. And if you kind of see the appliances of that for the film industry, mm -hmm. that's giant. XR is very similar to that. And I think where, where today uh, Unity 
you know, where we were traditionally maybe not expecting to be, but what has happened over the last couple of years, it's large enterprise uh, is happening there. Mm -hmm. People visualizing architecture or people indeed visualizing how, you know, two particles collide and how that looks in 3D space. It's quite interesting and, and in large part we're together with everybody building in this space on the brink of a very large change of how the human computing interface sits together because the visual form of interacting with the world changed fundamentally if you can place it in the actual space or you can place it in a space where you become part of it. So either AR or VR. Okay, so where do we go to find out more information uh, about what you guys are doing? Well, so there's our website, unity3d.com. I think uh, we'll also highlight our uh, GDC keynote of yesterday. But additional to that, this week at GDC, our offices are open to everyone. Um, so that means that uh, we have people here in our office today that are creating with Unity, are interested with Unity, and that's uh, hopefully one of the, the great ways people can interact with us at GDC. Um, for the foreseeable future, yeah, we're, we're there with our website, our Twitter, everything. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality, augmented realities, all of these different types of realities, and I will see you there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.